Hi, this is David, Two Stroke Performance. This video is going to be a, a very brief one just explaining the installation process for our TPI oil pump delete kits. So this is the kit uh, here on the bench. I'll open it up and go through the contents. So there we go. Uh, the main thing in this kit is the um, electrical connector which uh, gets plugged into the loom and essentially tricks the ECU into believing there's an oil pump there when there's not. Uh, there's a couple of cable ties for um, attaching uh, wires uh, and then a series of, uh, of um, end caps to block off various pipes depending on which type of installation you choose to do. So let's go over to the bike and install the connector first. So you'll see... Oh. So you see on this bike, I've already got the tank and seat removed. I've also got the chassis mount removed, which isn't totally necessary, but it does make this video slightly easier to see. Uh, the oil pump is found up under the oil tank. You can see that's the oil pump right there with the blue connector here connected to it. So first thing we want to do is we want to remove that blue connector. There's a tab on the side that you have to push inwards and then you can pull the connector off the oil pump. Next step is to plug in our electrical plug so it snaps in firmly and then we want to use one or more of the supplied cable ties uh, to attach this um, somewhere out of the way. So you could cable tie it to the clutch uh, hose here, you could cable tie it to the back of the frame rail or any, anywhere else that's suitable on your particular bike, just somewhere so it's up and out of the way, out of harm's way. Now, depending on which type of installation or more to the point, which type of delete you want to do, um, there are various things you can do with the oil pump itself. Uh, one option is to simply leave it exactly how it is right now. So in other words, you can leave the oil tank and the oil pump and the, and the um, oil hose uh, in place. Uh, some people choose to do that because that means at any given time, you can simply remove this, plug the oil pump back in and go back to oil injection. So that's the simplest installation is just to leave the pump in place. Another option uh, is to um, remove the, the pump itself. Uh, so that involves uh, removing the pump from the tray here uh, and then using some of the various blanking plugs that are supplied uh, to, to block off um, the barbed fitting into the throttle body, which is down over here, if you can see that. Yep. That barb fitting there can be blocked off using one of the rubber plugs that's supplied in the kit. And then also, if you look up behind the oil pump, there's a rubber elbow piece here which feeds oil uh, into the pump from the main oil tank. If you remove the pump, we do supply a, a blank which can go into this rubber elbow fitting to block off the fitting. Uh, the final, I guess, method for deleting the oil pump is to remove the entire oil system. So that would uh, mean removing the pump, uh, the tank, um, uh, the, the filler neck here from inside the frame rail. And if you were to perform that sort of delete, then all you would need to do is uh, use one of the, the small rubber caps to blank off the barb fitting onto the throttle body. So once you've deleted the oil pump, um, providing you are running an injector relocation kit of some kind, you can then run Premix. Now this bike here is fitted with our own TSP injector relocation kit. With that particular kit, we run uh, our premix at 50 to 1 uh, and have had great reliability and performance with that. But there are other injector relocation kits on the market that this oil pump delete can be used with. Uh, one important thing to note is you cannot use this oil pump delete if you're running the stock TPI injector locations uh, because you will not get enough oil going in through the bottom end of the engine to maintain reliability. So that's our simple video on the oil pump delete. Any questions, let us know. Thanks for watching. Yeah. <laughs>